Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot. I'm bringing you a quick read today um, about the person on your mind. We're going to get their thoughts and feelings, the wants or their hopes, blockages between the two of you, actions they're going to take, and then the outcome between the two. And then, of course, we're going to get some message cards and some oracle cards. Um, I will be getting the September reads out soon, guys. I was hoping to have them done and out today. Um, but that did not happen. Um, we had some unforeseen circumstances, power outages, <laughs> um, and things come up where I didn't think I was going to have um, some things to do and ended up having some things to do. So um, they'll get out. They'll get out soon, guys, I promise. Um, so we're doing this general uh, read for the collective, um, for the person on your mind. Mm. Um so we'll see what your person is thinking and all that good stuff. So thanks for being here um, and let's get into it, guys. So the feelings and thoughts, well, you guys, <laughs> I feel like they are definitely having a hard time not thinking about you. I think you are first and foremost on their mind. I think they have extremely passionate thoughts about you. You're showing up uh, as the queen of wands. Um in their power, their energy, as well as the queen of pentacles. I don't think this is between two people. Um, I think this is what they're thinking about you. I feel like they see you as this flirty, sexy, passionate, exciting, fun to be around person. Like you just, you emulate, 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 um, all this excitement and passion and it just kind of turns them on like they just love being around you they love being with you and you are also very stable very mature very much a caretaker a provider they see you as someone that they could see long term with um but with all this fiery sexy flirty energy as well you are so in their heads guys i feel like you are so in their heads with this devil card is they can't stop thinking about you they want to be with you. Um, we have the Page of Wands. I feel like this is kind of their energy um, coming in with a much smaller offer. You're sitting at queen queen level, right? Um, and But they are going to come towards you with kind of a page offer. So um, Page of Wands to me is like fun, good times, good vibes, good news. So like small, like, hey, you want to go catch a baseball game or... You know, something, hey, you want to go to the bar and grab like a drink or grab a burger. It's going to be something that comes off more fun, not super like intense, like a first date necessarily. I feel like it's going to be more fun energy, smaller level. Um, I think this person thinks the situation between you and them is over. I feel like with this Ten of Swords being here, I feel like this is definitely a past connection or someone who feels like the situation between the two of you is over, but you are someone they want to spend time with and have fun with. You are someone they cannot stop thinking about, and they are seeing you as grounded, stable, committed, loyal, a caretaker, a provider, and fiery, sexy, flirty, passionate, fun, fun, fun energy. That's pretty uh, good energy to be in. Look at that, the sun on the bottom of the deck. What do they want out of this connection? Oh, the emperor. They want to be your daddy. <laughs> they want to be your emperor. They want to be your boss. They want to be your counterpart. Holy smokes, guys. They want this. They feel like this is a twin flame situation. They want to live with you or they want to have stability with you. They feel like you guys are spiritually guided to be together. They do want to be your divine masculine or divine counterpart whether you're feminine or masculine watching this it doesn't matter it's just like the yang to your yang like the match um they want to be this provider this protector this caretaker um they want to be th the person that you go to the person that you count on the person that you um lean on that's what they want from you um, I feel like they, with the hangman energy being here as a want, I feel like they want you to get this healing and clarity um, of the situation. I feel like, guys, um, with the Ten of Swords being in that top row, I feel like they want you to heal from whatever situation you guys had in the past. Because clearly with this Twin Flames energy um, and this Emperor energy, there's a past connection to me. And then we have the judgment card. So this is often a reunion. So what do they want? They want to get back together with you after healing has happened. Um, I feel like they might be healing. They might have gone through this process of healing. And the judgment too, to me, is like full self-evaluation, right? You like evaluate yourself. 
This is eerily sounding like some a reading I just did. But, uh, so maybe that's for you, if you know who you are. Um, I'm sure you know who you are, so if you watch this video, it's kind of lining up a little bit to me. But um, I feel like uh, this person may have been, or may be going through a spiritual ascension um, and really kind of evaluating themselves. But I feel like they want a reunion with you. They want healing to happen. They see you as a twin flame, and they want to be your emperor. Nice. All right. What are the blockages between you and this person? What are the blockages between you and this person? Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. So your job. So the job. Oh, okay. So we have Ace, Eight, and Page of Pentacles. Oh, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to tell this other person to watch this read too. <laughs> Um, I feel like what's blocking you is a job related situation or a slow movement situation. So the eight of pentacles to me is a job, usually working hard on your job, right? But to me, it's also very much a soul connection, um, a soulmate energy, a true love energy. So um, this being the blockage, though, I feel like there's been a lot of hard work put in. Um, I feel like this being the blockage, it's more... A work related situation like someone's more focused on their work and not focused on this twin or this uh, true connection that they have I feel like with the ace of pentacles showing up and the page of pentacles it's just kind of um, taking a long time to get where it needs to be right so it's going from like the ace of pentacles energy which is a new committed loyal start right to the page and not to like the king so it's very like slow progression um i feel like someone's focused on the work and the progression of this relationship is just really slow um and then we have the knight of wands so they could potentially be flirty um and and be looking for some fun in some other aspects i feel like maybe they're flirty and looking for fun in a situation that is um not you to kind of get you off their mind because the amount of, that they think about you with this devil card is unreal. Like you're what they're thinking about on their forefront. You're on the forefront of their mind is what I meant to say. All right. What actions is your person going to take towards you or towards this, ooh, this situation? This person. <laughs> oh, this person. So right now their actions aren't going. Oh. Ten of Pentacles is on the bottom of the deck. That's great end energy, but that's not what's coming right now. So, um, what what actions are they taking, you guys? I feel like I feel like they're extremely conflicted about making a choice, right? We have the Two of Swords energy here. This is like not sure what path to take. Feel like you're being blinded. Not sure what to do. Feeling confused. Like I just don't know what to do. I feel like I can't make a choice here. I'm having a hard time making a choice. I'm indecisive. I'm, I'm, I'm indecisive. Um, I feel like there is sadness, there is grief with them. I feel like they feel like they've been left out in the cold. Um, so I feel like they're not really, I feel like they're stuck in this energy of like, I've been left out in the cold. I'm going to keep my heart closed off. I'm going to keep myself guarded. I don't want to get hurt. Um, I really don't know what to do. But you know what, you guys, so the star card is a wish fulfillment, but in terms of this being in the action row, they're wishing and hoping that this is going to work out. They're wishing on every star they see. They are praying. They are really hopeful that this situation is going to come out. Um, but they're really focused right now on themselves um, and getting themselves stable financially. Um, so I feel like they're they're keeping guarded. So the actions, they're not really taking a lot of actions up except for this is an action of they're taking care of themselves, right? So they're getting themselves financially stable. They're getting themselves emotionally stable. Um, I feel like they're focused on their job. So they're really kind of trying to put in work to get themselves to be better than what they can be. But they're really hoping and wishing. I think they see you as their wish fulfillment. They know that. So what's going to be the outcome between you and this person? What's going to be the outcome between you and this person on your mind? Queen of Cups. Ten of Cups. Oh, that's lovely. King of Swords. The Temperance. And the Eight of Wands. Yes, guys, with the Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, equal give and take, balance situation. I feel like this, this outcome is true love, happiness, happily ever after, 
husband, wife, marriage, kids, house, gumdrops and lollipops, rainbows and sunshine. This is the fairy tale. Dog, cat, like this is the happy home, happy love, tons of love, true love, soulmate connection, the Ten of Cups. This person, um, the outcome, we have the Queen of Cups and the King of Swords. This person absolutely loves you. This person is compassionate. This person is empathetic, but they're also going to be able to communicate extremely clearly. And we have the Eight of Wands here. So the rapid forward communication, they're going to they're going to communicate how they feel about you. They're going to communicate their love for you. They're going to tell you how they feel. They're very intellectual. They're very um, engaging in conversation. I feel like they're very direct sometimes. But they're also going to be expressing love. Rapid forward communication. So I feel like the outcome is going to be good. But we also have the temperance card here. So this to me is like divine timing. God's timing. God's plan. Things need to be balanced. Things need to be right. They need to be balanced. I was going to say fixed. I don't know. That. They need to be balanced and they need to be healed, right? With that like um, uh, hangman energy. Um, and once things come into balance, then divine guidance can, or divine timing can come into play. Patience is key here, guys. So I definitely see in the future, true love, happiness with you and this person, direct communication, communication about love, being equal, give and take bottom of the deck. We have the Knight of cups. So this is a romantic love gesture. You know, he has roses, a white horse picnic, a love note, wine. Um, the Empress is also here to the emperor guys on the bottom of the deck. So I definitely feel like this situation is coming together, a wish fulfillment. So, um, I like it. I like it a lot. All right, let's get a couple of Love and Romance Journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot. New Pathway. Divine Feminine. No shocker there. There's the Empress showing up. Fall. Romance and True Love. Gifts and Offers, which also is reflective in that um, Knight of Cups energy. And Final Move, guys. So I do think they'll be making this final move towards you. I do think this will be, um, if you want to get married, I do think this will be a long-term commitment with marriage. I really do get that feeling. I think this is a new pathway between you and this person. Um, there's divine feminine and divine, divine masculine energy here. I feel like this is a guidely, uh, divinely guided situation. Twin flame, the twin flame card came up. I think um, in the fall, that might be where you get some communication. Um, you may get some gifts and offers, and you may have some romance and true love. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right, let's get some Hermit Tarot channeled love messages. I just dream and wish for everything, which is a seven. I am terrified. No. This card cracks me up. I've never imagined so much perfection and love me. So I feel like this person's messages to you guys is I dream and wish for everything. Like they're thinking in their mind how much they want, but they are terrified of the situation. They're terrified of being hurt. They're terrified of um, being made a fool, looking foolish. I feel like this is their inner self is like, no, I can't do this. No, I can't do this. But um, they really see you as perfection and they want you to love them, guys. Love me. And there's another Ace of Pentacles that's also in the, the spread below. So I feel like they definitely are just kind of scared. Uh, uh, scared. They're definitely afraid of looking foolish. All right, guys. We are going to finish off this read with the Flames of Truth Oracle cards by Angelic Revelation 144. Whoa. 144. Sorry. I hope that you can forgive me. My silence has caused us both so much pain. Yeah, like I said, I feel like this is a situation in which it, they think that it's over between the two of you with that Ten of Swords being the first card out. Your face is the most beautiful face I've ever seen in all my life. The first time I saw you, I knew I wanted to see that face every day of my life. And we'll get one more card for you guys. Um, with one look, I saw flashes of us in extremely wild sexual positions. It took my breath away. That's that Queen of Wands energy with the Devil card right next to it. So, 
Um, all right, guys, I hope you did enjoy this read. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll get the September monthlies out soon. I hope it's going to be a crazy next few days. Wish me luck. <laughs> um, but thank you, thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I appreciate it. If you feel inclined to do so, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, all those things will be so helpful to me, but uh, only if you feel like it. Thanks so much, guys. Take care, and until next time, bye-bye.